What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenland's Farmer and Contractor. My name is Simulation for the Nation. Hope you're doing very, very well. You join us today uh, as we are moving some very expensive fertilizer away to the shed. Uh, and we've got our 40 foot bulker up here now as well, or the uh, curtain cider, sorry. So we're trying to get some work done with it. Uh, we. We don't have any of the production chains set up yet in terms of our greenhouses and you still need to get those all established so whilst we wait for that we're gonna just uh ship as much fertilizer around as we can for our ground so we'll put a little bit of double top we've got some ni uh, 30 i think it's 34 percent nitrogen on the trailer there as well so we're just using the agri pro to get that all unloaded and then we're on to some silage uh we have got a new addition to the fleet that you're gonna see very shortly here uh, it it was a decision I made because Greenland's here has an awful, awful lot of opportunities for grassland contracting. And we really want to make sure we can capitalize on that. Best way to do it is obviously to be able to get on as much output as possible. Which is why there are butterfly mowers here in the shape of a class disco setup. And good lord does it look fantastic on that massive there. I'm sure you'll agree. We've already finished up. We raked up this field that we started mowing there, build and wrapped as well. So the silage crew are kind of all dialed in now, really. We're ready to go. We have uh, the f one of our new fences out uh, with the fertilizer sprayer on, doing a little bit more uh, work. It's actually on some spud ground, I think, uh, which is fine. Oh, missed up it. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to make some really good moves in the next uh, couple of days as we look to uh push ahead with some grassland work so the aim is that we'll just get this all done we're going to start that one contract that we need to oh, careful on the trailer we need to get some money coming in that's for sure because well they don't pay for themselves really without being used so that's what we need to do so hopefully we'll get that going uh our own grassland that yield wasn't too bad we've got a lot to do today really if we can get going with it we'll, we need to do Get some of our harvest work going. There's a lot of harvest contracts we want to take advantage of, but nowhere near as many as there are for bale and gigs. So that is, without doubt, going to be our priority there. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we get on, really. Uh, we'll just lower this down. We've taken on a few fit contracts since we were last there. We've made a bit of money. We've lost a bit of, bit of money as we've spent it all, but it's all going well. Uh, I'm loving Greenland so far, though. I must say, really, I'm... Um, liking this i'm going to make a few changes in g to the yard push that fence back a little bit and just gives ourselves a little bit more room to breathe yeah as a, on the whole i'm very happy with how it's going and we shall hopefully see this uh continue this growth continue here uh now what have we got stuck there uh, we've got two four six let's take off this uh we've got 33 and a half percent do a bit of that Get the straps off perfect stuff a lot of money in this here uh curtain side that's for sure but it'll all be used uh we'll use some of this where we have to on our own con on contracting but most of it like to put onto our own ground there probably not going to put it on and uh, too much onto any of the uh see does it any of the cereal crops that we have there now if only because well frankly you know, whatever's in there is in there at this point in time, so we'll, we'll run with that. Uh, we haven't paid anything to drill those into the ground there, so we just bought the land as it is. We should be fine. All right, and around we go again. Nice and easy. Can't wait to get out on that massy though. It's absolutely delightful. There is our uh, silage crew. You've got the wrapper and you've got the baler in there, both on 722s. Looking good. 718, of course, is over on the spreader. And the AS is on our uh, mowers. Now, it, I could see a world where we need to get another tractor, uh, get another higher purchase going. But right now, we're going to roll with what we have. I uh, want to get some more money in before as, we have to start to make some payments, really. So we need to be in a better position for that. Uh, and I just don't want to, uh, to risk it too much. I don't think it's worth it at all. There you go. It's a very tight yard. This you gotta be careful on every turn. I haven't quite got dialed in there yet, but the time will come. We'll figure it out. So let us know if you've got yourself stuck on into Greenlands, how it's going there, and what you're enjoying about it as well. Uh, which farm you're on? You're on the main farm there. There's some heckishly good hills on here to get used to. Really enjoying some time getting uh, stuck on into those. Makes for a rather fun time, must be said. Uh, 
Uh, we again watch the trailer. Wonderful stuff. If and when we do, I'm going to have a look at it at some point in this next week or so at some new ground where we can set up a production site, get some greenhouses moved across from Hod Bellaron. If we do that, then obviously we're going to need to look into... Um, we're going to have to get a tele truck or something. We sold off that little uh, electric loader. It just wasn't right. Didn't really need it straight away, but we'll need to look into what that looks like to get it back. Uh, or to get something. I fancy getting a JCB tele truck, to be honest with you. I think that would work remarkably well for what we need. So we'll have to try that and see how we get on. But uh, I need to get a site first in which we can use. There's a, a few bits of ground around here that I have some ideas about what we could do with. But we're just not there yet. Uh, we will get there. But we're just not quite there yet. He nailed it. Okay. Yeah, that bit there, I don't know what quite to do with that. And like I say, this fence wants to go back about three or four yards just to give us a bit more of a swing around here when you've got a tractor with uh, after hooking on something. But we'll figure that out. What I'm gonna do is just get these all unloaded and then we're gonna have a look uh, at a few different bits and pieces. And we'll uh, go and get some grass cut. All right, and so let's get out here. We're going to, before we go any further, just thought we're going to take a little bit of a walk, really, because I haven't shown you too much of the other land that we have. So we're going to have a bit of a look and walk through some ideas that we've got around what that might, what the next few years will look like here, really, for us. Uh, so we have a little bit of grassland that we can, we need to get into and we'll get this knocked down. I fancy this one might become hay. A little bit of a longer the grass is already uh, longer stemmy grass has already gone to seed a little bit there so i think it's probably gonna be better just to knock us down and and uh, tether it all out uh and then we'll have to wait and see we've got a couple of fields that we need to get into fairly quickly with the combine like i say uh but we'll we'll worry about that as when we can one of which of them is here now with some of these gate posts we might have to widen just a, a shade and put in some uh some of the uh double gates that we have around here like I say, the crops aren't the best. They've been left uh, alone a little bit too much, maybe there. But they're, uh, you know, we'll get into it anyway, and we'll see. We we may well look at just getting a little bit of a herbicide on there just uh, to kill out any of the green there, put some Roundup in, and then uh, we'll come in maybe in a, a week's time or so. But we'll have to see about that. It would be good. Plenty of grassland for us to get into. I think some of the grassland that we have around here, we may well look at getting plowed over actually. Uh, get a bit of hay off here. There's not too much there. It's a little bit thin in patches. I think this was heavily grazed at one point uh, this year. So it's uh, and it got a bit wet there as well. So it hasn't really done too well off the back of that. But we will uh, we will see how that looks as we move forward. Uh, like I say, we do need to get the combine out rolling though soon. Because we do have some fields that we need to go into. Uh, even if they're not ours. Uh, but yeah, like I say, some good grassland around here. Uh, we will be looking at some point, like I say, I've got an idea of where I'm going to go and hopefully where I can strike a deal to get a little bit of land with a couple of buildings on for some production chains. We'll have to see what that looks like and if that's going to be possible. Right now, though, it's time to go and take the beast of the new Massey out there and get some grass knocked down, I should think. Uh, and we shall see. It's a beautiful day. Tomorrow, not so great. So what we need to do is really capitalize on today and get as much grass knocked down as possible. The fantastic thing about this little yard and this setup is that all of these fields are linked and what they've done really well is that, you know, this gateway here means you don't have to try and turn around and get into there. You can just spin it down here and it's nice and easy. I have since come in and I put a fence in and all oh, this fence is mine there just to kind of keep this all fenced off. So if we want to put cattle into there, we can. Uh, and it keeps it all fenced off down to the yard. Now, this fence is just going to give us a little bit of an option. Uh, at the moment, we don't have a grab for the tally handler to pick up bales. That's going to be something that is ordered and it's on its way. But what we do have is a bit of time, really. We can keep that there and uh, not in too much of a rush. We do need to get, when we get into our own ground to harvest it, we do need some straw. The cattle don't have straw at the moment. They've got water, they've got silage, and they've got a bit of TMR still left over as well. But that's about it. So, yeah, there's lots to do there as well. But it's all exciting. It's all good. Uh, we are going to close down the workshop. We've got our other spreader and a sprayer in there. Uh, let's go self in. All right, then we we're now coming in, I think around 10 meters working with you. Plenty big enough, that's for sure. Uh, we just need to get enough work to to pay for this thing, really. I think it's about 
70 ish grand all in for the front and the rear there, so a lot of money. Uh, but we'll get ourselves going. Alright, so we have a field destination uh, planned out. I think I know roughly where I'm going. New area, but we'll figure it out anyway. Uh, so onwards we go. We're good. This is going to be for hay, actually. So what we'll do, it works out quite well because we've only leased that bale wrapper for now. We're going to try and get a few more jobs for it anyway before we have to return that. Uh, again, another expense that I just didn't really want to make yet until we could really see how much was going to be worthwhile. Uh, so we'll hold on to it and we shall see. This is a bit of a terrible junction to get out of, but there you go. All right, and away we go. Uh, so we're going over to there, really, on the other side of the valley. Uh, it is quite a steep valley as well when you get going into some of these fields. It is pretty unforgiving. Uh, which is why we're going for a square baler. I don't want any uh, bales rolling away on me. Uh, and there's a very busy road going through here. There's always frequent traffic coming through here as well. So it's uh, something to keep an eye on there, that's for sure. But we will uh, we'll get this done. We're going to get this mode down there. We'll probably leave it down today and get the tether to come in tomorrow. And uh, kind of chase us out of the field there, really. And we'll see how it's looking after that, really. But it should be good. Excited to see how much work we can get going with here anyway. Uh, I think we'll be really leveraging the... I've got uh, a full team of drivers at the moment. So we should be pretty cool there. Should be should work out very well. And I uh, just need to see where we get into this field from. Because that is still very much a mystery to me. I do like this little uh, forest stretch here. I think that's really cool. I think we just need to be over there somewhere now. Certainly on the other side of the river, I do believe. Yeah, we'll find our field. We'll find our entrance to the field, at least. And we shall get mowing. All right, so we're going to see Woodview House, I think. And we're going to creep in through here. Uh, so it's not this field, but we have to come in through here. Although this one could be knocked down in a hurry as well. We'll see if there's a contract here for this one. But this is where we're going. And that one... Odd shaped field, but yeah, a bit of grass on here anyway. Should get going. And uh, we'll see how we go. on. We, this tractor is equipped with GPS and uh, headland management on there as well. So we will be, once we get into the field there, we'll definitely be leveraging both of those. Make this as efficient as possible for us. Uh, it's also just nice and easy to uh, whip around a field when you can just press one button at a time. Uh, but through we go. Oh, bit of a rough gateway. You go. Okay, so. Uh, well, that was close. We are in the right field now. Nearly started off in the wrong field there. But uh, let's go. Let's. Uh, well, up. That goes the front. And goes the back. All right, and we're away. This field. That's okay. Let's get away from that. This field is uh, pretty. Deep. Anyway, away we go. Eh, dog legs in this field as well, but that's fine now. We're not like I say, well, it doesn't really make any difference to me. Uh, but we are going to be clear in this field there. We've got lots that we want to try and get done from a contract perspective. So there'll likely be a little bit more of an update from me through the course of the week there as well. As we try and there's a little bit of an odd uh, shape to this field here. There's a few rough patches there, but we're away anyway. So we will keep going along. Uh, if you are enjoying this series from me here on the Farmer Contractor over at Greenland's Farm, do let me know. Uh, do drop a like, subscribe for more. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions you'd like to answer, like me to answer. But until next time, I hope you have enjoyed. I have been SFTN. We shall see you in the live stream coming very soon as I'm struggling to get up this hill in the straight line. Get around there. Slipping all over the place, but we will get cracking along anyway. Until next time, though, thank you ever so much for watching. As always, I do hope you have enjoyed. We'll see you all in the next one. That's later.